I'm at Target right now. I haven't done a video like this in a while, but I'm going to. So my college professors roaming around here right now. I'm picking up two Funko Pops. I know, crazy. But for Star Wars Vision, I like this lot. They look cool enough to me. Um, I would have liked to get the figure arts. Um, don't know how you get those. So these will hold me over. Also, they're going to dark. They're kind of cool. If they're like 12 bucks, I'll pick them up. But yeah, I decide I'm going to do a hunt today, I feel like. What am I looking for? Nothing really. I'm also getting boxes because I need to ship stuff. But yeah, see how that goes. And I already found my next pickup right next to me. Look at these bad boys right here. They're already into little jars. How fun. All right. Maybe I won't do a video. Who knows? But if I do, there will be another clip. Maybe I bought these. I don't know. Alright, I'm at another Target now. Um, I haven't filmed in the past couple days. Um, I haven't showed you my haul. Therefore, we're gonna look at this one Target I went to. Pretty far out Target. Uh, I went to like a game store nearby and stuff. Maybe I'll show off what I got from there. I got a pretty good deal on some really good stuff I've been looking for. Anyways, uh, I haven't seen this Power Ranger before. Dino Fury. You got black and blue. Um, nothing else really standing out, which is cool. It's always what you want in a video. Some Joes. By Legend, which is cool. I feel like stores aren't selling Legends anymore. That's cool. Rayquaza figure. Oh, it's like clearance stuff. Nothing really good for clearance. Ooh, what about you? Nope. For like a dollar, I'd pick it up. But it's not. Therefore, I'm not getting it. Um, Star Wars looking great than better than ever, really. Uh, Lando got that, and then Rekka. No heavy Mando though. Kind of shocked. Usually they have heavy Mandos. Um, can I see the new exclusive? That's kind of fun. I probably won't get it because I don't really need a John Favreau head on a overproduced Mando body, but. It's cool, nonetheless. Glad it's an exclusive. I'll probably end up picking it up. Well, I got like like drive cars. They're kind of fun. But uh, yeah, nothing here. Uh, I'll do a quick little check out in the aisles for really just anything to shut me up, which is important. And I gotta keep talking because this music is really good. I think there's a couple end caps we'll take a quick look at, but if not, no droid figures like I've been looking for. Just want one of them for the collection. This one, this is like Funko Star Wars. All right, we're gonna cut it here. Now it's probably gonna be my pickup for the week. I already had a target I usually don't come to, and did it pay off? Uh, so far, no, but there are stuff I haven't seen before. So we got some uh, vintage card, Viv Fortuna, for Fortuna, there we go, haven't seen him before, um, don't see him too often anymore, the uh, Shore Trooper, right, yeah, Shore Trooper, I think, or is it this one, I don't know, one of them I don't see often, they blend together to me, and then I'll look it up here, and they have the blue guy, and who's that behind it, other than Lando, um, yeah, that's the Star Wars selection here. Um, so these are 16 here. Those ones, right? No, I don't know which ones are, but one of them are. Um, kind of, oh yeah. Marvel's on the other side. Which, once again, has no legends. Are they just like phasing out legends at stores? If you know, let me know. Because I don't see any, and it's weird. Uh, yeah, it's strange. I think these are new Power Rangers. These are like Target exclusives. Damn, these things are 18 bucks. Holy shit, so Star Wars was expensive. Yikes. And then, uh, Clayface looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. Uh, was it worth to drive out here? No. But content. Well, I haven't seen this yet. This might have just switched my mood. Look at that baddie. I want that figure. 
I love Sonic just for that. I think that's funny. Got Toga Sonic. I guess he played baseball game in the movie. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it agrees. Dope. I just decided to fill out this form because the past two places I've been to haven't had anything. And if it's going to be a hunt, I should probably show stuff off. Um, I did pick up a couple things though, so keep an eye out. There's some Power Rangers. Here are the gorgeous Star Wars selection. I feel like this is a very rare sight to behold, or Lando's. Which is cool, you know. I, I'm, I'm good on Lando personally, but you never know. Um, some Halo stuff, which is kind of fun. I have one figure from that line. It's pretty cool. I don't know why also, like, the Legends premiere are just gone. Which is weird. I feel like I used to always find Legends. I mean, the last video on my channel was a Legends video. I know there are no Legends anywhere to be found. Um, some, like, uh, wrestling figures are a lot in abundance of. Uh, I got this Hogan. That's kind of cool. Kind of smashed in. Um, but that's fun. Uh, this is also pretty old. I know I bought this for my old boss. Do you want it? I'm Cody Rhodes. Didn't he just leave the AEW, if I recall? He's not part of it anymore. You got MJF. That's a cool guy. Um, yeah, nothing that I'd really ever buy. I don't really... Oh, I watch AEW, but I don't, I don't really, like, buy a figure... I'm cool and buy Star Wars. But yeah, I'm gonna get the clearance things in there. I'll let you guys know. But yeah, nothing really popping over here, which is kind of sucky. Alright, so this would not be part of the haul because I technically should have already had the video out, but I don't, so get over it. Anyways, um, I stopped at Target because these Pokemon set just came out. I don't have any of the packs yet, so I went to go pick up some packs. All these are in big clearance. It's $5. It's kind of fun. But um, I was looking around the uh, Pokemon section and I found. The droids both fit. Does have a giant crease there? I'm still just gonna pick it up because I don't think I'll probably find one again. Um, if I do, I'll just swap them and return uh, this one. But um, I don't care to. It'll be like on the wall. Like I can hide it probably. Anyways, pretty excited. I also have the packs. So I'm probably gonna pick up. Oh, I was gonna pick up a couple more, but I think I might just get two or three. I don't know for sure though. It is my birthday week, so maybe I'll ball out a little and just buy the three packs. But, um, yeah, I'll do a quick little look over here. See if there's anything cool. Here's an IG-11. They also had, um, should probably just show this off. They had the other other ones, too. Um, so here is, it's like Target Returns. Probably because it's a crease, but here is Droids uh, R2 and then C-3PO. Oh, no, this is also R2. I guess they don't have a C-3PO. Um, but, yeah. Here's like a... Roger Rabbit. And card section's pretty good. But yeah, yeah, hit the NECA section real quick. Uh, I don't know what people are really looking for NECA wise. Um, I guess we'll show off some of the Star Wars stuff over there. There's a couple interesting items. So I'll probably just show that off real quick and go home. And then that'll be the haul and then the end of the video. But this won't be in it, so get over it. Beep, beep, beep. Stopping the phone right here. I found the one Sonic figure I'm looking for. Rouge the Bat just chilling on the shelf. Definitely picking up her because it's Rouge the Bat. You go, what? Probably not gonna pick up the Pokemon cards now, but definitely pick up these. I'll probably pick up one, but yeah, that's exciting. That's cool. You know, usually don't get hauls anymore. And I didn't think I was gonna find that Rouge the Bat because it came out like a few months ago. And a red Phoenix Shan. Oh my gosh, that's a highballer figure. Alright, I'm a little bit in a hurry. It's actually a couple days later, so I'm gonna include this in the video. I keep including stuff in the video because I'm lazy to do it. My birthday's tomorrow. I don't have to do it. Anyways, find a better Droids Boba Fett. So I'm gonna swap them. I'm gonna buy this one, return the other one I bought. That's kind of damaged at the top. And then they also have R2D2. I right, don't have C3P. I'm kind of shocked. I feel like he would be. The one peg warming out of them. There's an RSA, and then behind it is a tech. And then Lando's for days. Let's see if there's anything on one of these aisles. I was also going to pick up this kind of change for a garage sale tomorrow. Oh, there's some stuff out today. It's kind of fun. Um, we got Zero. Haven't seen him in a while. Uh, some Archive Wave stuff. Cody and Tuscan. Even the standouts. 
uh, and Chase AW. That would be cool because those are worth some money. And I like money. I also like AEW. A little stuffed up today. Allergies are killing me. I need to take a pill when I get home. Uh, allergy pill, not like, you know, nothing too crazy. That's an old set. We'll check Legends real quick and see that. I feel like they don't just stock Legends anymore. There's never any new Legends. All right, um, I need to get going. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, now this is the last update before we get into my haul. That's not even the haul anymore because I bought so much garbage. Anyways, uh, there's like a big garage sale thing going on tomorrow. But there's a couple going on today, so I want to go check it out. I bought some cool stuff. I bought a bag of G.I. Joe figures. And I sold them. I'll admit I did sell these because I don't really do G.I. Joe. But I listed them for like 35 bucks on eBay and they sold in like under a minute. And I was like, that's weird. I wonder what. So I did a bit more research on it. I did a little research, but I guess not enough. So apparently this dude, yeah, it's this guy. He goes for like 50 to 60 bucks. And a couple of them are going for like 15, 20 bucks. Like it was already a pretty good deal, but yeah, major mess up in my head. So I'm not going to cancel it because I don't really care. I paid like $10 for this bag of G.I. Joe's. Uh, a Yu-Gi-Oh! Game Boy game, which I'm keeping, and, like, the coolest item is in my car. It's the Spider-Man 2 soundtrack. So, I'm just gonna, well, that guy got a good deal, but, man, did not know what I had, or bought, really. But, uh, yeah, I just know G.I. Joe sell for a bit, so I'm like, ah, eh, screw it, I'm in a buying mood. So hopefully, next week, you'll see some more cooler pickups. I also picked up, like, a bunch of cassettes to sell, like, Metallica and stuff. They were like 10 cents each. I was like, eh, sure. Also got some cool games. I got Mad World on the Wii, which is cool, and a couple other ones like Smash Bros and Mario Kart. Those are something I'm keeping Mad World. Also Condemned on the 360. I'm pretty hype, hype about. I thought that game would go for more, but it doesn't. But I want to play because it it's like a weird horror game. Anyways, now I swear on my life, we're going to get into the hall now. Wow. <laughs> what a haunt. Am I right? We had some laughs. We had some great finds. That being a none of it. Can you hear my crappy monitor? It buzzes, but I got it for really cheap. Anyways, yeah, I'm here to show off the two figures I got, but I just came back from a crazy deal, might I add. Um, very excited for what was given to me. Um, yeah, but I'm going to show the two figures off. I'll probably show a couple other, but I went garage selling. I have like, a couple of the items here. Most of it's in my room though because i'm selling some of it and, and, and some of it's around my room but i'm going to show you some of it my phone my photo was that a twitch notification wow anyway it's a two figure that i got. might have seen by the title i don't know how i'm going to title this yet let me know down below what i should title it because i already picked but yeah i got two funko pops i know i hate funko pops but every once in a while they make so many of them is what i say but every now and then there's one or two in this case that gets you and you're like oh man they got me that being the um, Star Wars with a focus um, vision figures of the like brother and sister, I believe. I can't remember their name. I think one of them was like Kai or something. They have weird Japanese names. It's done by Studio. People do Kill a Kill, which is a, people from, a bunch of people from Studio Gymax, I believe, which is my favorite anime studio because they did Evangelion, Guran Logan, and something you'll see in a minute, Fully Cooly. But, um, yeah, very excited for these. Apparently, lightsabers glow into dark or something. I haven't seen them glow into dark yet. I also have these out of box because I don't really care. I do have the boxes still. They're sitting in my closet. But, like, I wanted to see them glow into dark, but they're not yet. Um, but, yeah, pretty cool. And they bobble heads. I kind of forgot about that. The only other Star Wars uh, pop I have is a Watto, of course. Uh, stood in line very early the day. Came out to make sure I got it, which probably didn't actually have to. But these are really cool. Target exclusive. Um, they were... $11 each, I believe, which is pretty good. I thought they would be more because they're like a store exclusive or whatever. Um, but yeah, pretty excited. There's also like a, uh, the Samurai dude. I'm not going to pick it up because I don't do Funko Pops. Oh, also another reason I picked these up is because there are two figure arts coming out of this, but I don't know how to get them. Like, I know they're a Target exclusive apparently, which is weird for our figure arts. But like, I, are they going to be in stores? If they're in stores, I'll pick them up. But like, you can't pre-order them online. They went out like instantly. But, um, yeah, and they're probably sold out overseas. I get all my stuff from, like, Big Bad mostly, so that kind of sucks. Hopefully I can track them down one day. They're really cool. But for the time being, these will do for me. 
Next up, um, I guess I'll do a quick little like peek at what I got at a garage sale. Um, I got a PS2 Slim thingy for a dollar, like the power supply, which is good because I have a PS2 Slim that I never used because I didn't have a power supply. This is a brand new one. That's not as exciting as this. I picked up a lot of manga from the dude. These are the two that are sitting next to me. A lot of them I'm selling for the most part. Um, there's like a bunch of Naruto I just sold and another anime that I sold because I didn't really like it when I was looking into it. Don't really know what it was, but there's a couple I'm keeping still. I'm not a terrible person. First off, here's one of the Trigon ones. Um, there's also like one and two, which are like the big collections. I don't know if this is part of it. I don't think it's part of it. I didn't know Trigon had a manga, which I'm really excited about. Trigon's one of my favorite animes. I like the 90s anime. That's what I like anime-wise. And then um, I picked up a Dragon Ball one too, which is pretty exciting. I don't have any original Dragon Ball. I have a lot of Z and all of Super currently. Not all of Super, but like where the anime ended, I have Super from there on. And then, yeah, I almost have all of Z and I have some, some, some from Dragon Ball, which is pretty cool. And the other thing I got really quick, I'm not going to go super in-depth into these. These are the last things I got from the garage sale before we get into the big hyped item. Um, with a bunch of DVDs, so I'll go through those really quick. Uh, I'm a big fan of Old Adult Swim because they have a lot of cool special features. So I, he had a bunch of these. I think I, overall I paid like, I think like $70 for everything. I've easily made like double or triple that already and more to come probably because I still have more stuff to sell. But... Of what I'm keeping, I'm keeping a lot of stuff. There's also like a Dragon Ball statue I might keep. I don't know, it's worth a lot of money. I don't really do Dragon Ball statues. I do the figure art, so I don't know. It's uh, um, Vegito, which is pretty cool from Kai. But we have C Lab Season 1, which is pretty cool. I've never seen C Lab, so I'm excited to watch that. Same as Frisky, Frisky Dingo. I've heard of these, just haven't watched them. Season 4 of C Lab. Season 3 of C Lab. Oh, this is one of the ones I'm most excited for Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. Very excited. Love Harvey Bird, one of my favorite shows ever. Got C Lab season two. Hopefully, I like C Lab. Another one I'm really excited to get is Space Ghost Coast to Coast, which is very exciting. There's also a Aqua Team Hunger Force one that's actually worth a little bit of money. So I decided to sell it because I don't, don't really need it. I love Aqua Team Hunger Force, but the DVD's going for like 40 bucks. I paid a dollar for it. Gotta sell at that point. They're all on HBO Max anyways. And the special features didn't seem that cool compared to these like old, old ones. There's also like a Rave Master manga. I don't know what to do with. I don't really like a Rave Master. I read it as a kid, but I don't think eh. And then either a couple items I forgot to show from um, the Comic-Con video. If you haven't checked out, check it out real quick. I got a Japanese pack of, I believe this is Chilling Rain, I believe. Which that's cool. It was $3 he gave, me, gave it to me for. And then I got two singles. You got a Houndoon from... Um, the current set a Wista Trainer on it and a Dusk Vop Wista Trainer on it. Don't have these ones, so I'm excited. Love the trainer cards. And then last year I did pick up a two mangas actually. One of them was Berserk number one. Read it already. Um really great. I really liked it a lot. So I'm excited to pick up the other ones. But the other one I'm gonna start reading tonight that I just got in the mail. Fully cool Anonymous. Got it for a really good deal. It goes for about 25, 20 bucks. I got it for uh, twelve dollars off Makari, which I'm very excited about. But after this for a while. So, yeah, I just like how small it is. I don't know. The size really makes me happy. But, yeah, excited to read this. One of my favorite anime. It's a very weird experimental anime. I'm an experimental filmmaker, so, of course, I like it. Highly recommend watching it. It's very short. It's like six episodes. Now for the big thing. So, today, uh, I think you might have heard before, I was at a uh, local game shop trading in a bunch of stuff. I um, didn't get really anything from there. I kind of just have a bunch of money on there right now. But I stopped at a local sandwich place over there, and there was a pawn shop next to it. Now, the sandwich had to wait 15 minutes to get made, because there was a little wait, but I'm like, whatever. Never really been to a pawn shop before. I've heard of them. Like, I've been into them before. I, really, like, I don't really go in, because they're kind of weird. But um, I'm glad I went in. So all these games I'm about to show you were from $5 to $30. I am blown away. I got some grails of mine. It's everything in here is a game that I wanted for the most part. I think I'm only going to end up selling, like, maybe two games to make some money back. But I'm not making all of it, but I don't need to. This is, like... I think I calculated off price check like 500 bucks worth of games. I paid like 130. First off, we got a GBA game, uh, Metroid Fusion. Very excited about. I uh, just finished uh, the other one on GBA, which is a remake of one. So I mean, after this, just because I, I had a lot of fun playing it, and I got it, and it's authentic, which is cool. And then I say, you probably saw it, but uh, I got a Chrono Trigger on DS for 30 bucks with the manual, map, and game. 
I'm blown away. I really wanted to get this. I was, I really, I haven't played Chrono Trigger yet. I really want to play this Akira Toriyama. And I've heard great things about it, obviously. And yeah, I'm super excited to play it. I was going to wait until I got my Steam Deck to finally play it, but now I have it on the DS. So like the, I think it's the best way to play it. I don't know if it's the PC version better, but I have it on DS. Very excited about it. Can't believe I have this. It's a great deal. And then next up, here's one of the games I might sell. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of the series, but it goes for a bit of money. Um, got Trauma Center Under the Knife. Uh, it's Trauma Center Games Atlas. It's like a weird anime sur surgeon game. Pretty interesting. Uh, I think it's complete. Yeah, this one's complete. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, not too much to say about this one, but yeah, very excited. It goes for about like 30 bucks, I believe. So that's fun. Uh, this one is Yoshi Touching Go. I think it's, it's complete. Very excited to play this one. Um... Yeah, I've always I kind of wanted to play this game. I remember I passed on it once at a thrift shop for like two dollars because I wasn't really going for a lot of time. But DS games have really shot up, which is why I'm really like collecting them heavily right now because I have a lot of fun playing them. I don't know why GB and like DS are like my two systems I play the most right now for some reason. And Yakuza Four, I'm almost done with it, which is pretty hype. But yeah, excited to play it. Um, yeah, I don't really know what this game is like. I'm guessing you control Yoshi with a stylus. That goes for a bit of money too. All these go for a bit of money. Um, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, which is a really good one to find. Uh, I think this one goes like 20 bucks, if I recall. It is just the, um, little, you know, it's just a game cartridge, which still goes for about like 40 to 50 bucks. It's some like gunk on the back I have to clean. I think there's like a sticker on the back from the store the guy, whoever pawned it, sold. But yeah, excited to put a little fake case in it, so I gotta track down a real case. I have the other one in DS2, um... Not gonna go get it, but I also got that one for like twelve bucks, and it goes for like thirty to forty too. So now I gotta track down the case and manuals from, which is probably a pain in the ass. Next up, we have Mario and Luigi's Partners in Time. This one has a lot of value to it. Um, this goes for about like sixty to seventy. It is complete. Yeah, it's complete. Um, yeah, I just picked up Bowser Inside Story into DS. Looking for the 3DS one, but for the time being, I'm probably gonna play that one. And if I like it, I'll heavily more look for the 3DS one. Unless I, like, find a 3DS one first and also the DS one. Anyways, excited to finally play these. That's a fun one to get. Here's the other one I'm probably going to sell. I don't really have the biggest interest in this game. I don't really like this game. I had it as a kid and I didn't like it. Uh, Mario Hoops 3 and 3. This goes for about 30 bucks, which blew me away. I don't know why this game's going for so much money. I remember I sold one of these, like, two years ago in a DS lot I bought. for a, was Another game that's going to be in here. I'm really glad. I regretted selling it. I was driving home. I was like, man... I hate that I sold it because I really wanted to play that game. But uh, I think I sold it for like 13 bucks or I didn't sell it for that much. I think I went to my trade and pile over to like a game store that I traded all the stuff in earlier. I was talking about the Target clip that you just saw. But yeah, pretty excited. This one's complete. Um, this one's pretty cool. Final Fantasy Tactics A2. No manual, but it has the original case and stuff. Um, pretty cool. I'm going to play with the Tactic games. Um, this one has a good amount of value to it as well. So excited to dabble in this one a little bit. And then here's the other game I was just talking about. I got was Hoops. I was really sad I sold. But I needed some of the money at the time. But this one goes for a lot more than I expected now. This one's complete. Sonic Rush Adventure. Uh, I don't know why. That's where you kind of want to try. I think it looks could be kind of fun. But uh, this game goes for like 50 bucks now. Like what? That's insane. Why does this game go for so much now? It better be a good Sonic game. Because why would it go for so much then? It has a... Uh, I don't remember what the purple chick's name is. Fake fan. Also, this pirate guy looks weird. I don't know if that's supposed to be Eggman or not, but someone. Then the last game I got, I think they threw this one in for free because I was buying so much. It was like, this was the $5 game. Most of these are like 10 to 15 bucks. Um, was Mr. Driller. Uh, I've heard about Mr. Driller. People like it. Um, excited to try it. So this game would go for a bit more. It only goes for about like 20 bucks. I don't know why I saw this game went for like a lot of money. Maybe it's like a different Mr. Driller game on like DS or 3DS. It's complete and all. That's fun. But, um, yeah, I haven't played a Mr. Jelly game. Heard good stuff about him, so excited to give it a try. I just matched with someone on Hinge. Wow. Days going up, Peter. But, uh, yeah, that's everything. Um, let me know what your favorite game I picked up was. Uh, yeah, that's everything I picked up, pretty much. Um, the manga I bought, the chicks are in some stickers. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to use them because I don't know any of these animes, but... I have friends who are in the anime, I'll give them to. And they'll probably know who some of the chick girls are. I also picked up one last thing. I went to the comic shop today. What came out today, other than the new saga. Excited to read that after, while I upload these to my computer. So comment, like, 
subscribe, comment down below and stuff, all that jazz. Um, uh, next video will actually probably be a short film I just did. Um, so check that out. It'll really mean a lot. I've worked really hard on it. It's probably been working on it for the past, like, technically a year, but I shot it, like, five months ago. And, yeah, I'm really excited to come out about it. Quick little log line on it, if you care. It's about a pinball machine trying to start a cult. I shot it in an arcade that was really cool. And, yeah, I had a really good time. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm going to submit it to some festivals and stuff. Hopefully they gain some traction. But, uh, yeah, check that out. And then another big update will be coming soon about... Um, not this channel or somewhere, some of my like YouTube-y stuff in the summer. If you like my short film, expect kind of more stuff like that over the summer on like a different channel. My background just changed to fully coolie again, but it's the intro, which is really fun. So yeah, very excited. Um I'll talk to you guys later and peace.